Hello everyone! Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull out my alcohol inks and do a bunch of playing because the alcohol lift ink ink pad and refill is here. <clears throat> um, Tim Holtz did an entire video on it so just look up like the Ranger channel and Tim Holtz and there'll be a whole video on it. Jennifer McGuire did a really in-depth video on it as well. This is, it's very interesting and it's designed to lift alcohol ink from non-porous surface and transfer it to porous surfaces. So based in a nutshell, you can create an alcohol ink background, say on Yupo paper, create it with your alcohol inks, take a stamp, ink it up with this, and the stamp will pull that color up and then you can stamp that onto your pattern paper and you'll have both like basically the positive and negative images. That's just like the very, very basic explanation of this ink. This is not blender solution. I, I saw a lot of comments about that. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend with this sort of like, I highly, highly, highly recommend watch Tim Holtz video because he explains so, Clearly, plus, you know, he does all examples and everything else, and it was, I watch his videos, and then it's just like, this goes into my cart, and I've been waiting for it to show up. So, kind of excited. I haven't used my alcohol inks in a little bit, so I'm excited to pull them out and do more, more playing. So I got that, um, I got another bottle of Nouveau Crystal Glaze. I, I'll have a video coming soon i used a ton of crystal glaze um so i ordered more of it but i like so i have an extra one on hand i also ordered a bottle of the nouveau this is the glitter accents in fresh snowfall i don't know it caught my eye and i was like oh it's gonna be time soon ish i still want to make summer themed cards and everything like i'm not even ready for fall anything but you know christmas stuff's coming out in stores halloween had a lot of people asking me about Halloween. Oh yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> but yeah, it just looks interesting. So it's a huge bottle of it too. So this is a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. So I was like, ooh, this will be fun. So I got that. I also finally got my hands on, this is the Auburn Pearl um, Nouveau Crystal Drops. I think I finally have the last of the new colors pretty sure anyway so and I showed this in another um, recent haul video when I got a couple other colors I always like to put a nice size dollop on the lid and then um, tap it a little bit and then I let this dry for the good 24 hours it doesn't need to be perfect but I just I like to see it outside of the bottle and dry just as a visual reference so got that I also got um, this Midas touch nouveau opera shimmer pen I just I saw it in the store the day the day I was browsing um, on Simon and I was just like hmm interesting so just like the other nouveau shimmer pens it comes like so you want to remove the little plastic piece and then you want to screw that on there and just make sure it's closed probably give it a good shake just like all of them sometimes it depending on how long they've been sitting or in my case sitting with the heat I like to shake it up before I even think about squeezing it and then let me grab Standard little scrap that I always seem to pull out for haul videos with random things. Alrighty. There we go. Can't squeeze it too, too much. Very gold. Oh, it's pretty. I knew it would be, but. Ooh, it shows up really nice on dark cardstock. It's pretty. So yeah, it's basically like I really, really, really like the Nouveau clear one, which I use frequently wherever I hid it. Here it is. Here is my 
I like the glitter gloss, which is literally just like a clear glitter or, you know, like doesn't really show up on white cardstock, but that's the whole point because this is the one where the light hits it and it's like, OMG, it is beautiful. Let me turn on the flashlight on my phone. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's the clear glitter gloss that I use a lot. And then this is the newer Midas Touch, which is very gold. I like. And then on white, on white, like I said, you can't see the clear. Let me move my, there. Um, when it's dry, that's what I love about it. So the gold, obviously you can, you can see it. Um, but then when the light hits it, Hopefully my camera's like picking up. It's hard to show sometimes on camera that sparkle and the shimmer. If it's not though, just trust me, it's beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> and it's really pretty. I really like how it looks on, on black. So fun. And I like that they put a nice wide band of like gold on there just so that, you know, you don't grab one accidentally. But yeah, really pretty. That's fun. So I got that. Um, I got these three, yes. So I picked up a few more Picket Fence Studios stamps. Simon's been getting more and more in and these ones, oh, like they sold out the second they got them in and then they got more in stock and I just, I ordered a few of them because I just, they're just gorgeous. So we've got this Kendall girl, like just, I like her glasses and like she's got like flowers and cute hair and just everything. Everything. Like how fun. So with that one and then this one's really pretty. This is Sydney Girl. I like ones like this because it's like you could you can do some practicing with like watercolors and coloring like skin tones and whatnot but you could also just like heat emboss this because of all that detail with her hair and just do it like in a metallic embossing powder and call it a day. Like it would look gorgeous. Same with this one. So this is Madeline Girl. So, really like this one. I'm thinking birthday card with an iTunes gift card. Because, you know, she's got her headphones on, you, you know? You know? So, I'll link to, again, the line. You guys can check them out. I've done, you know, that video with the whales. And I showed that other haul video of the stuff they had sent me. And then I just, there's so many cool stamps. I'm loving it. Loving it. So, I got those. And then I got, um couldn't resist. I had to get some more neat and tangled because the cuteness was just driving me insane. So I got this really cute So Foxy. I just, him sitting there with his little banner. I'm just like, yeah, you're adorable. I need to bring you home. So thanks for being you. For my Foxy friend, happy birthday, wild one. Um, you are very nice. <laughs> I should make that for my kids when they're being good and give them that. I think they would actually like that. So yeah. Isn't that cute? And then you, or you just put two and then have their name. So, yeah, a little butterfly, a little heart. Or a little coordinating dice set that'll cut out him and the butterfly and the heart. It was really cute. So I got that one. And then this one I just, again, couldn't resist because the cuteness just got to me. Plus, with my two youngest, um, the whole, like, see you later alligator in a wild crocodile, like, they think that's hilarious. Like, they think it's so funny. So... Yeah, I kept looking at this and I was like, kind of have to get it. Plus, this little frog just kills me. I think he's adorable. <laughs> so yeah, have a snappy birthday. Um, see you later, alligator in a while. Crocodile. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> and you can have him like holding the banner. We can have him holding a little briefcase. There's a little, I love this little fish boy. Like, <sighs> she always does the cutest sets. I love. I love these little characters. I think they're adorable. The cornering die set, of course for all of these little characters. So I got that. And then last but not least, I really love this stencil. This is the um, Snake Scales stencil. And it's really, look at that. Isn't that cool? But of course this would totally work awesome for like mermaid scales. It'll work great with this. Like, it's just, oh, I like, had to get. So I got that, and then um, I also got another pack of pattern paper for me to hoard, because that is what I do with the pattern paper. Every once in a while I'll actually use it, but 
so often, and I get, I always get asked that, like, yeah, why they people see me buying it, but they don't see me using it. So often, I just get inspired, you know. I'll see the colors or the patterns or just different things in pattern paper and it'll inspire me to make something, but I won't actually use the paper. It'll just be like, oh, I really like those colors together. Or, oh, I like how they put flowers and such and such together. So this one though, this is the My Bright Life. This is another Jen Hadfield one by American Crafts. It's got some gold foil accents. Now is the new later, every moment matters. These are really nice. Believe in yourself, you can totally do this. And these adorable birds. And again, the color combos. Colors that I normally wouldn't put together. And then some foiled fabulousness. Great little tags. We got polka dots. More foiled fabulous. I like how these are foiled, but they're not like super mirror. I would cut like satin foil. These are pretty. I like that a lot. Some kitcheny type stuff. That's really cute. These are fun. More foil, florals, some like gingham. Ooh, that's a fun one. I like that. So yeah, you go girl, be yourself. You can do this, get well soon for my kitchen. You're thinking of you, congrats. So very kind, thank you. Oh, these are cute. See like, oh, ooh, I really like that. The foil on the wood grain, that's fun. So yeah, lots of gorgeous, gorgeous papers and you get two of each so yeah 18 designs 36 papers like it's a good it's like a hefty one I really like that <clears throat> and then last but certainly not least I'm this I had to sit down and film this AS oh no not last this is the last before I get to this um I got one of this little arc foam eraser Christina Werner was going on about this and how this is such a great eraser so I was like again put that in my cart and yeah I like having erasers, you know, if you tell me certain pens are really good or certain little erasers, little things like this, I've always, I can never have enough erasers, I literally have several of them on my desk, like erasers, pens, any of those little perfect things, like going to school supply shopping with my kids, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> uh, the smell of a new box of crayons, anyway. Probably why I'm such a nut with all this stuff, because I can never have enough. New Distress Oxide ink colors. They're finally here. I'm so excited. Uh, I have been waiting for some of these colors for so long. It's not even, like, uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to get these open. I can't wait to play with them. Tumbled glass. Spun sugar. Mustard seed. All these colors. I'm excited. I love them all. I'm just so happy. And the last set will be released, I think he said October. Yeah. I think that's when the release date is scheduled. Is sometime in October. They did say before the end of this year, the last set will be released. And then someone said October. So. But yeah. And then that'll complete the entire Distress Oxide um, color line with the Distress line. So this is the fourth set to come out now. Well, yeah. So yeah, sponge sugar, tumble glass, mustard seed, barn door, crushed olive, tea dye, ground espresso, old paper, mowed lawn, oh, ripe persimmon, stormy sky, all beautiful. I've done, again, a bajillion videos too on um, using the oxides because I love them. I also love my regular distress inks. That's another question I get asked every once in a while. Which one do I recommend more, the regular distress inks or the oxides? Honestly, they're apples to oranges. The only thing similar with them is the colors, sort of, but they look different again. Like, there's so many things you can do with both. I honestly recommend both. I have been having so much fun with the oxides, but I'll never get rid of my regular distress things because I reach for those all the time too. I'm gonna label all of these. I already have my little, I printed these off like as soon as I ordered these, I printed off all my labels. So they've literally been sitting here like taped on my desk waiting for this to show up. So I just label them and then I have a little old wherever I put it again. I misplaced it, oh there it is. I rub the ink pad onto paper and then I let it dry, and then I just punch it out with this crappy little punch I got at Michael's forever ago. It's a cute little heart punch, but it's crap. It hurts after a while to punch. 
So circle punch would work too. But then that way I have, and then I just glue that with a little glue dot. So I have a label and the color, and that's just so I can see the color at a glance when I can't see the lid. Um, there is a printable on the Ranger site. You can actually print off and it's in color. All their different colors that you can like print and cut or print on the label paper, I think if you're good at that and if your printer works. Um, that you could do and then that way the whole label's in color. I've never done that because again, my printer sucks. And this just works for me. So that's how I keep mine labeled. I thought I would do that. And I already did a video on how I store the foams for my oxide ink. So actually I printed off the labels for the ink pads and I have a third label for how I store the foams. I'll link to that video here if you haven't seen it. And yeah. I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun. So I will, as always, post links to everything in the description box below. I'll post links um, on my blog. On my blog, it's picture links. Stay tuned. I'll be back with card videos. I have giveaways planned. There's things going on. There's I'm going to be part of blog hops. Like, there's always something going on. I've got a million things on my plate. So stay tuned. Um, and yeah, I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye!